What's going on, Warriors? We here. Welcome back. How are you guys feeling? I'm feeling great. I hope you're feeling good too. We're going to get into this thing. I'm talking about the Manny Pacquiao versus Floyd Mayweather big fights. The greatest fights ever in boxing history or at last or whatever they're calling it. Now, I think it's important to address the certain things about this fight. Who named this fight the greatest fight ever? The publicists and everybody that surrounded the fight. It wasn't the people. It was the people that were marketing the fight. People just clung to that analogy of it was going to be the greatest fight ever. If you've seen a Floyd Mayweather fight, you know what you're going to expect. You'll expect to see Floyd Mayweather outbox his opponent by moving countering and just making that opponent look rubbish. Manny Pacquiao, look at his performances as of recently against people like Timothy Bradley. All the people that he fought recently, Marquez, he has been less than spectacular, he's been going to points decision, he's not been able to stop them. It's very clearly documented that uh, Manny Pacquiao cannot deal with a boxer that has got intelligence, that has got good defence or has got heart. He cannot knock those people out. He can knock out people that are past their prime, or people that are old, or people that just stand there. Margarito, or Koto, or Ricky Hatton, or Oscar De La Hoy. Stiff, not moving targets. He can box those people up severely. Look what he fought against Clotty. Clotty, he didn't have movement, but he had extreme defence. Pacquiao won that fight on the basis of offence, not in terms of hits landed or damage he he made that person incur because Manny Pacquiao got damaged much more than Cotty did but they unanimously gave it to Manny Pacquiao because of punch output and work okay Manny Pacquiao was saying before this fight Jesus is the name of the Lord and all that kind of stuff and good versus evil because Floyd Mayweather he flaunts his wealth he says I fight for legacy I fight for money I fight for myself I fight for my family and all this stuff. When you ask Manny Pacquiao, he says, I fight in the name of the Lord. I fight for the people and I fight for my family. And he talks about Jesus and all that kind of thing. All this kind of propaganda where he's in the church, kneeling with the holy music. It's all this propaganda about good versus evil. And people don't even realise it by the election onto that. They always say, Manny Pacquiao's a hero. He's a good man. He does this and the other. Then he, he's in Congress. He helps the Filipino people. Mayweather helps homeless people. Same difference. He's got wealth, he shares the wealth. Manny Pacquiao's got wealth, he shares his wealth. Same difference. It all comes down to public personification and what people want to see. They believe in Floyd Mayweather, the superstar. Whatever. We ain't talking about that. We're talking about the fight. Everyone will say, oh, Manny Pacquiao is going to destroy Mayweather. He's going to knock his head clean off. Why? Now, when everyone was talking about Floyd Mayweather's defence, they were always showing old videos of like when he fought Oscar De La Hoy. When he was using the Sword and Shield, and every time Oscar De La Hoy threw a punch, Mayweather would turn his head with the punches to take the power out of the punches. Saying that's not going to work on Manny Pacquiao. They weren't looking at all the other fights that he's had. When he moves, when he counters, when he stands in the ring and shows the opponent his face. If you look at this fight, I think it was in round 10 or 11. Mayweather was actually not looking at Manny Pacquiao and giving Manny Pacquiao his chin and encountering him with a power right hook. Because Mayweather was so much faster and so much more quicker than Manny Pacquiao. And they were saying, oh, he's dancing. Well, I'm going to break the fight down round by round. But I think it's important to talk about offense versus defense. Offense, what was Manny Pacquiao doing? Straight rush down, fast flurry of punches against a non-moving target. So they will basically expect Mayweather not to move. Why would Floyd not move? He's got more than just going against the ropes. He's got a hell of a lot more than that. And he showed that in this fight in abundance. I think it's very important to outline some of the things that Floyd was doing in this fight. He beat Manny Pacquiao by outboxing him, outspeeding him, outmaneuvering him, the jab, the check hook, and counter punching. That was how Mayweather won the fight. He just outclassed Manny Pacquiao 100%. From the outset, when you looked at round one, what was Floyd Mayweather doing? He was standing in front of Manny Pacquiao and he was showing Manny Pacquiao the right. And he was jabbing him with the left. If you look at the first two rounds, the whole fight practically, 
Floyd Mayweather was using only one hand. He was jabbing him and using a variation of feints, jabs, and hard counters with one hand. And he was only using the right hand as a power. As a, I called it a, basically a miniaturized nuclear device. Because every time it went off, it was like a nuclear device in Manny Pacquiao's defense or his face. It wasn't a shotgun power, it was like a nuclear device going off in Manny Pacquiao's face. And every time Floyd let go of the right hand, it hit. 98% of the time it hit. There was only 2% it didn't really hit. And even then it hit his body. Manny Pacquiao threw a lot of volume of punches. Well, quite a few. Not as many as you thought he would. But every time he did, he missed. When you look at the count, Manny Pacquiao in the whole fight threw less than 90 punches. Now, if you look at it in total, he threw over 400. So what happened to the 400 punches he threw? They all missed or they hit air because Floyd Mayweather wasn't there to receive the damage. Why should he stand there? It's a boxing, it's not a brawl. Boxing is a question of skill, speed, intelligence, manoeuvring, pacing, everything like that. Manoeuvring, tactics, that's what boxing is. If you look at the third round, what did Mayweather do? He took a punch from Manny Pacquiao and then he went into peekaboo and he says, Have at you, go to work. Let me see what you've got. Manny Pacquiao went in, hardcore. Maybe this is gone. Then Manny Pacquiao stopped. Why? Because he knew. Maybe he was trying to get him to punch himself out. Maybe he was like, go on. Nothing's getting through. My defense is too tough. I'm not, I'm not going to go outside step. I'm not going to fade. I'm going to let you punch yourself out because I'm not receiving any damage. That's why Manny Pacquiao stopped. But we're going to jump ahead straight to round three. Let's go back to round one. Maybe if it was showing him jabs then he caught him with the right straight straight right every time he was catching for just to show Manny Pacquiao don't respect me don't respect my power I've got something waiting for you so he always kept on catching him with the right that's why Manny Pacquiao could not let go of his punches then we moved to round two Mayweather changed his style again he started using feints and he started using the check hook and he kept using the right the lead right Every single time Manny Pacquiao tried to come in, he caught him with the straight right. Every time he was catching him with the jabs to catch off Manny Pacquiao's timing. Every time Manny Pacquiao was about to throw a punch, Mayweather would read it in his body language and then throw a jab to stop the timing and offset Manny Pacquiao's combinations. So Manny Pacquiao could never let go of his punches. Just as Manny Pacquiao was about to um, get him for a punch, Bam, he'd get hit by Floyd Mayweather. So Manny Pacquiao would have to deal with Floyd Mayweather's jab. It was an absolute incredible masterclass. And of course, went through round three. Mayweather switched to counter punching and using the check hook. Every single time Manny Pacquiao came in with his standard boxing style, which was straightforward, rush down. That's not going to work on Floyd Mayweather. I feel like what Manny Pacquiao was doing was straightforward rush down and cut off the ring to Floyd Mayweather. And that's why Floyd Mayweather started using the check hook as such a powerful defensive and offensive and evasive weapon. Because all Manny Pacquiao do is come in straight, then would read Mayweather's trajectory and try to cut off the ring. Floyd's still going to get out of that with the check hook. And Floyd was doing a lot of tactics where he would step on Manny Pacquiao's foot when Manny Pacquiao tried to do the stutter step. Mayweather would step on his foot so Manny Pacquiao couldn't lunge forward. Or Mayweather just completely sidestep. Or if you look at it, Mayweather was using a lot of Tai Chi moves. Where he would grab him, what people were calling hugging, was a way of Mayweather taking the power out of his attack. When Manny Pacquiao was about to throw a punch, Mayweather would run into him and grab him and then throw him to the side, get some space. Every single time Manny Pacquiao was a little bit too close to Mayweather, Mayweather tried to catch him with the lead right. Mayweather, Manny Pacquiao's a southpaw. Mayweather will punch him on his left side with the right punch that go over his body and just throw him over. So there's nothing Manny Pacquiao can do. Mayweather was using a lot of martial arts actually in that fight. And it was absolutely incredible. Every time Manny Pacquiao tried to go to the body, Mayweather would use his elbows to block the punches so that Manny Pacquiao would punch the elbows. Mayweather was doing a lot of tactics, a lot of things that you only pick up from doing being a proper gym rat. A boxing where you're always in the gym, you're always picking up all these tiny little tricks and little tactics. Mayweather was using everything, whereas Pacquiao was just doing one thing. Straightforward rush down. 
and it wasn't working. What was interesting was the fourth round, Mayweather stopped moving completely. He was stationary because he wanted Manny Pacquiao to hit a still target and punch himself out. And Manny Pacquiao realized that, and that's the reason Manny Pacquiao literally didn't throw any punches in round four because Mayweather was just trying to make him punch himself out. And when Manny Pacquiao was uncomfortable on the back foot or too, being too risky, Mayweather would catch him. And it was a very dangerous round for Manny Pacquiao because Mayweather looked like he took the round off, but he didn't. He was in sniper shot counter mode. Mayweather was being extremely defensive, but he had a sniper ready for Pacquiao. Whereas if Manny Pacquiao rushed in recklessly, Mayweather would have tore his jaw off. So that was a very dangerous round for Manny Pacquiao, but... Maybe people didn't understand what Mayweather was doing because he wasn't throwing punches. He was so defensive and not moving. But he was just trying to, even when Manny Pacquiao, if you look, Mayweather dropped his hands because he was trying to, because it was absolute clean precision, which we all know Mayweather's got round five. Mayweather started to use feints and a check hook. And he was being extremely defensive and made Pacquiao uncomfortable. Every time Mac and Pacquiao came in, yes, Mayweather would catch him in a reverse headlock and push him down a little bit. Mayweather would go around the outside of him, punching over his shoulder and swinging him around. He grabbed Manny Pacquiao and Manny Pacquiao was getting too close to um, throwing too many flurries. Were the flurries hitting? No. But it's making Mayweather uncomfortable. And it's not about Mayweather being uncomfortable. It's all about making Manny Pacquiao uncomfortable. And that is the reason Mayweather grabbed him. To make him feel uncomfortable and put him on the back foot. So when Manny Pacquiao was trying to regain himself, that's when Mayweather would attack him. And it was looking like Mayweather was putting a lot of pressure. But it was all mind games and Mayweather reading the way Manny Pacquiao was reacting. Round 6, I feel like Manny Pacquiao won round 6. It's one of the rare rounds that I'll give Manny. I give Manny probably round 5 and round 6. Because round 6 was just like round 5. Where Mayweather, but this one with Mayweather kind of, kind of like took the round off actually. Mayweather looked very unsure of himself, what he wanted to do. Because to this point, Mayweather had kept on switching styles and techniques in each round. And during each round, he would use various techniques... To throw Manny Pacquiao off completely and make Ma uh, Manny Pacquiao look like an amateur. Because Manny Pacquiao couldn't catch him. But this round, Mayweather were too defensive and was too indecisive. And I feel Manny Pacquiao won that round six because of that. Round seven. This was free. Mayweather beat him down. He rushed him down. He countered him. He check hooked him. He completely manhandled. Round seven was free. Mayweather got that one. It was easy. Round eight. Floyd won it. He dominated and bullied Manny Pacquiao. Catch him with combinations, 1-1-2, one, one, power punches, looking at the floor, then punching Manny Pacquiao. It was it was a masterclass. It was literally an, a, a case of, if I was to take a simple little thing, okay, if I was to do that, and I was to go like this, okay, boom, right there. I know where it is. You always know where it is, boom. I always know where it is, because you've seen it, and all you need to know is know the trajectory. Floyd Mayweather was doing that during the whole fight, it was absolutely incredible, where he would not look at Manny Pacquiao to make Manny Pacquiao think, yeah, I'm not concentrating, bam, and catch him. It was brilliant, it was a masterclass in boxing, that's why that round was free. Round 9, are we on round 9? I think so. Manny Pacquiao got owned, his soul was in Mayweather's back pocket. Thanks to the check hook. Manny Pacquiao kept walking straight into Mayweather and getting caught with the check hook. He had to hold that so many times during this whole fight. But it was particularly painful in round 9. Round 10. I actually give this round to Manny Pacquiao. Not because Manny Pacquiao was hitting Mayweather. But it was because of the pressure Manny Pacquiao was applying to Mayweather. And Mayweather just wasn't attacking in this round. He was dodging and evasing. But he wasn't and defending. He wasn't even defending. He was evading. That was the dancing round. I call that the dancing with the stars round. Because Mayweather in round 10 wasn't doing anything. So Manny Pacquiao got that. Not because he was hitting Manny Mayweather. Because he wasn't. He didn't land any punch on Mayweather. But in terms of work and pressure. I give that to Manny Pacquiao. Round 11. Mayweather outboxed him. Classic 1-1-2. One, one, power punches. Going for the knockout. This was a funny round because he was doing feints. It was 
almost like round 12, where it was borderline contempt. It looked like Mayweather was actually going for the knockout in this round. I loved it. Now, round 12. This round, Mayweather, it was borderline contempt. Mayweather did not care about him. He was just saying, you know what, you're done. Mayweather literally walked around the ring, throwing counter punches at him, invaded anything. Manny Pacquiao probably landed seven punches in that whole fight on May Mayweather's arms. The rest of the punches he threw was on thin air. Mayweather won that round convincingly. So if you look at the whole fight, I would say Manny Pacquiao probably won round 5, 6 and 10. And that's me being generous. Those Now, I would say round 6 is a charity round. Well, technically so is round 10 that I gave to Manny Pacquiao. But it's a, a case of boxing. It's boxing, not a brawl. Mayweather did everything that you would expect Mayweather to do. He used a, yeah, he used a lot of underhand tactics, like he grabbed Manny Pacquiao when Manny Pacquiao was too close. He stepped on Manny Pacquiao's toes to stop Manny Pacquiao from gaining forward momentum. But it's boxing. You've seen dirtier fighters do nastier tricks. Well, it wasn't like that with Mayweather. Yes, you expect this from Mayweather. When we say, oh, we're disappointed. What else did you expect from a Mayweather fight except to see Mayweather out? But everyone knew it was going to go to points. And what was funny about it was, yeah, okay, back I was saying, oh, the Lord will deliver Mayweather into my hands. Okay, he delivered Mayweather's grade A arse whooping, and you have to hold that now. Just like the way you said that to Marquez, that we're going to destroy, we're going to rip his head off his shoulders. And even if God himself was in the ring, it would have saved Marquez. What happened? Manny Pacquiao got delivered onto the fist of Marquez that contained the hopes and dreams of the Mexican people. And all the Latin peoples, their hopes and dreams that they wished on Marquez to beat Manny Pacquiao. Boom! Not that Manny Pacquiao was out cold. The power of the people was in his fist at that time. Manny Pacquiao, oh well, things happen. But what was annoying as well about this whole thing was he was saying, Oh, Jesus Christ is the name of the Lord. And that Mayweather, Mayweather's religious as well. But people saying, oh, Manny Pacquiao, he's a good person. Mayweather's not a good person. What's it got to do with good or bad? They both got things that they want to win. They want to win a fight. When time you're believing, yes, Jesus will help this guy beat up another man. Whatever. We're not even going to go into that. The only thing that I'll say is this. Mayweather won free. Even through the interview, Manny Pacquiao said, I believe I won. What fight was he participating in because compared to everybody else maybe a lot of people like a lot of the celebrities of course the celebrities are going to be pissed and tweeted about it they paid like close up to a hundred thousand price for tickets plus they had to pay for like their friends or their families to go there so some celebrities even paid a million for tickets and they didn't see a knockout you're never going to see a knockout what do you expect so i'm not surprised that some of those people are disappointed a lot of the fans are disappointed love manny pacquiao a lot of them don't know things like boxing. I could understand why people would be pissed at the fight and how Mayweather won because they don't like Mayweather and their boy lost. I totally get that. And people are saying, oh, he was running around the ring, he was dancing. Mayweather was being very evasive. He was. But he was putting more pressure and he was hitting M Manny Pacquiao much more than Manny Pacquiao was hitting because he's a smart fighter. Every single time Manny Pacquiao threw a punch, Mayweather threw a punch in return. Or two. So he was working harder than Manny Pacquiao. But it didn't seem like that. Because every single time Manny Pacquiao went in for the attack. Mayweather was out of there. And why should he have to deal with it? May Pacquiao had one style. Straightforward rushdown. He had no other strategy. He had no other plan other than straightforward rushdown. How was that ever going to work about against Floyd Mayweather? It's like he had two techniques. Straightforward rushdown. When Mayweather's trying to get out of there. Cut the ring off to him. That's why the check hook owned Manny Pacquiao's soul. He got old. May his soul was in Mayweather's back pocket. That shit was free. I could not believe how free that fight was because Manny Pacquiao could not adapt. He had no game plan. He had no answers to any of Mayweather's techniques. And that was what was so bad about it. This fight seriously exposed Manny Pacquiao. He has no answers for intelligent fighters. Well, not intelligent fighters because there's only one intelligent fighter at the level of Mayweather and that is Floyd Mayweather. I understand the perspective of people that are interested in the Floyd Mayweather and Pacquiao fight 
just for the perception of what it is for social media and because it's a popular talking point in the world everyone's going to be talking about it and a casual boxing fan that doesn't know anything about boxing but they know the big names like the, the champion like the Floyd Mayweather the Lennox Lewis the Mike Tyson I understand about those people and the celebrities that were there because they don't know anything about boxing. They're just there for the spectacle, for the event, for the fact that I paid $500,000 for that ticket. That's why they went, a lot of those superstars. They didn't go there because they liked boxing or they cared about anything to do with it. They just cared. It's like a fashion accessory. I paid three hundred dollars to sit in that seat for 20 minutes to watch what I did understand what was going on but they're they're punching each other right I understand it and a casual fan that doesn't know about the boxing but they want to see a brawl they want to see a knockout they think boxing's all about throwing bombs and knocking out and all this kind of stuff because they see that's what on Manny Pacquiao's highlight reel there's a point I totally get it but people that know about boxing I've watched all the boxing from the greatest era of boxing with the four horsemen Robert, Roberto Durand um, Sugar Ray Leonard, Thomas the Hitman Hearns, and Marvelous Marvin Hagler. I've been watching it since those days, hardcore. So I know about that, and I've been watching boxing since then. Maybe as of recently, the last era was um, Lennox Lewis. I've stopped watching boxing since then, like, properly. It's only with Roy Jones and Mayweather that I started to still watch boxing in the 90s, like the late 90s. I did take a long break and I don't watch every single boxing match like I used to. I used to watch every single boxing match, like Chris Eubank, Nigel Benn, everybody. You know, Barry McGuigan, all over the world. I used to watch my boxing, love my boxing. But now, but then, from the late 90s, I only really started to watch certain boxers. And now, I think boxing is just rubbish. I think only the best boxing happens in the welterweights. That's just my opinion. So I understand where those people are not happy about the fight. Because they said it was just dancing. They didn't get what was going on. But there's a lot of things that Floyd Mayweather was doing. That was absolutely magical for someone that understands boxing. And you know, it's not, another thing I want to point out. Is a lot of people love Manny Pacquiao. They support Manny Pacquiao. But they bet for Floyd Mayweather. And even the people that hate Floyd Mayweather. Bet on Floyd Mayweather. I don't understand it. Why are you going to support someone or bet, no, not support, bet on somebody, but you hate them? Bet for your boy. A lot of people didn't do that. A lot of people didn't do that. Let me give you an example, right? Fighting games, like Street Fighter, right? If I see a player called Smug, who plays Dudley, I'm always going to bet on him. Even if he's playing against somebody that's using a character that's a bad matchup against Dudley, I'm still going to bet on Smug. Because I like the Smug to play, I like the character, and I'm always going to go with who I like. The same thing with Marvel vs. Capcom 3. If I see a man called IFC Yipes playing Marvel vs. Capcom 3, I don't give a shit. I'm, I'm going to bet on him. I have every single match, even if I know he's playing against a player that's really strong, playing a, a broken team or whatever, yeah? I'm still going to bet on IFC Yipes. That's who I believe in. That's my guy. The same if I see Mortal Kombat. If I see Mortal Kombat 10 and I see CD Jr.'s playing, I don't care who he's playing against. I'm always going to bet on him. Are you going to stop supporting your favourite team just because the opposing team who are like the Super Bowl champions or the champions of that league are playing against them? You're not. Are you going to stop supporting your team because they've had a bad season? Absolutely not. But people are not so loyal when it comes to boxing. They're going to keep cheering for their boy because they hope to win. But they're not going to put their money where their mouth is. They're not going to put their heart where their mind is. They're going to put their heart somewhere else. Their money in another place. And their mind in limbo. Me? I love the fight. Because it was a masterclass. Maybe I'm a little biased because I support Mayweather. Fine. And I accept that. I own it. But it was a masterclass in boxing. If you pay attention to all the little things that Mayweather was doing to make Manny Pacquiao look like an amateur, it was absolutely astounding. Everyone was like, Mayweather's going to get his head knocked off. Mayweather was moving. He was so quick. Every single time Manny Pacquiao tried to throw a punch, Mayweather was throwing the punch before Manny Pacquiao. Mayweather was quicker with one hand than Manny Pacquiao was with both his hands arms it was absolutely incredible if you look at boxing properly what boxing is which is a, a boxing competition of skill speed outthinking your opponent power tactics movement mayweather won pacquiao said oh mayweather he, he moved too much he didn't fight me so you want to fight a still target then go fight a super heavyweight go fight a super heavyweight that's not going to move that's not boxing that's a brawl you want a brawl and that's rubbish if you say oh we want to see a fight where it's just a straight up brawl 
Look, watch the undercards for that. This is world class boxing. Where you have to have all stats defense, intelligence, speed, dexterity, movement, placement. You know what I mean? He's asking, I want to say, I want to fight. Maybe we should be flat footed. Then we'd have a better fight. Bullshit. Marquez won through intelligence. Not because he was faster. Or not because he was stronger than Manny Pacquiao. But because he was intelligent. That's why Marquez was saying Mayweather was going to win. Because he knew the one weakness that Manny Pacquiao has is intelligent fighters. Or fighters with godlike heart like Timothy Bradley. Timothy Bradley had a broken leg. He had a broken foot and a twisted ankle. He still fought his heart out and beat Manny Pacquiao. And Manny Pacquiao's come up with these stupid excuses saying, Oh, my arm is hurt. My shoulder. Bullshit. So you would have people... So this is what it says about the boxer promotion for on Manny Pacquiao's side. Because only they knew about it. You would have people pay... I cannot believe this. $99... £30 in this country to pay to watch a fight with a fighter that's not even 100%. That is a con, which is, I think, is bullshit. If Manny Pacquiao is injured, hold that shit. You lost. Get bodied. History books will show Mayweather bust Manny Pacquiao unanimous decision and it was free. And it was super free. But the fact that he has an injury, it's a cop-out. It's an option select. If he wins, he won with an injured shoulder. He's godlike. If he loses, he has an injured shoulder. It could be helped. Bullshit. Man, fuck that guy. That shit is nonsense. Fuck that promotion. Bob Aaron, whatever. That shit is rubbish. That is illegitimate. Illegitimate. And they say, oh, he had a broke, he had an injured shoulder. And he was trying to, Man, Pack was saying, oh, my shoulder is this, my shoulder is that. I couldn't do nothing. Your punches look fine to me. Your punches look fine to me. And that happened over three weeks ago. You should not have come to the ring if you're saying it was that bad. Whatever. Hold that shit, Manny Pacquiao. Mayweather's the best. Mayweather's the best. He proved it. He outboxed him. He, he, he was borderline contempt the whole fight. So, yeah, that was my review of the fight. I want to hear what you guys have got to say about the fight because I know it's a hot topic. I'd love to hear what you guys got to say. Thank you for tuning in. Until my next video, love you guys.